This is Headlines from Palestine. I'm Chris Smiley with If Americans Knew. Today, Israeli forces shot and killed a Palestinian teenage boy in a West Bank city near Ramallah. Masab Tamimi was only 17 years old when a bullet struck his neck and killed him. The teen was shot after the soldiers invaded the village called Deir Nitham and fired many live rounds, rubber-coated steel bullets, and tear gas at Palestinian protesters who were marching in the village. Masab is part of the Tamimi family who has many prominent leaders in the Palestinian resistance movement and has experienced numerous tragedies. Last month, 14-year-old Mohammed was critically injured after being shot in the face. The Palestinian Prisoner Society reports that also on Wednesday, dozens of Palestinian homes were raided by Israeli soldiers as they conducted violent searches while interrogating scores of Palestinians and ultimately arresting 22. In the town of Bayat Fajar, just south of Bethlehem, soldiers confiscated eight cars and posted warning leaflets threatening further invasions should protests continue. The Israeli military courts confirmed 41 more administrative detention orders in the latter half of December 2017. There are currently over 450 Palestinians imprisoned without charge or trial under these administrative detention orders. In many countries like the United States, it's illegal to hold somebody without charge or trial for an extended period of time. Administrative detention orders are indefinitely renewable and are issued for one to six months at a time. Palestinians have spent years consecutively jailed with no charge and no trial under repeatedly renewed administrative detention orders. These Israeli administrative detention orders are used systematically to target community leaders and Palestinian activists. Among the 41 Palestinians under those new detention orders in late December was Khalida Jarar, the prominent Palestinian leftist leader and member of the Palestinian Legislative Council, whose imprisonment without charge or trial was renewed for an additional six months. Akram al-Fasisi and Anas Shadid also had their detention orders renewed. Fasisi, who's 34 years old, had his detention order renewed for the fourth time in four months. He has been imprisoned without charge or trial since September 19th of 2016. Many feared that Ahed Tamimi, the well-known teenage Palestinian activist who we reported just last month was arrested by Israeli soldiers, might share the same fate. She was, however, charged on Monday with her cousin Noor for assaulting an Israeli soldier, as well as interfering with the soldier's duties and stone-throwing. The Palestinian Prisoners Affairs Committee stated that approximately half of those detained, like Ahed, are children. There are hundreds of Palestinian children jailed by Israel and frequently subject to beatings, abuse, and interrogations without parents or lawyers present. Thank you for watching. Please share this video and join us next time for more critical news from Palestine.